Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a back and bicep workout designed to help you build muscle. Let's dive in. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back, glad you're here. Today's video is walking you through the back and bicep workout uh, that I'm currently using in order to build muscle to get ready to get on stage for next year. I just wanna give you an idea of what the training methodology is, some of the tweaks that you can do for the certain techniques and the exercises that you can use in order to help you build muscle. And then I'll also give you some insight as to how to actually build muscle and what these workouts are doing for my body. Make sure you stay until the end of the video because obviously if you're clicking on this, you probably wanna build muscle. And two other important factors that you have got to get down in order to build muscle is making sure you're in a calorie surplus and eating enough protein. So I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Let's jump into the workout. The first exercise on this workout is the lat pull down. This is gonna be our vertical pull to work our lats and the outside of our back to create some width. If you notice on this workout and any of the workouts that I post from here on out, it's gonna say working sets and warm up sets. Your warm up sets do not count for your actual working set. A working set is something that you're going to use at a weight that's heavy, that's really stressing your muscle. Warm ups are just preparatory sets in order to warm up the muscles and the joints and get you ready for the heavier lifts. The lat pull down here, what we want, one important thing that I see a lot of people doing is leaning too far back. If you watch me as I'm doing a lat pull down, one thing you wanna focus on doing is leaning back just far enough so you're pulling with your elbows straight down right in front of your chin. The next workout or lift that we're doing is a conventional deadlift. This is one of the king exercises for thickness in your back. So when you see people doing their back pose, you can see the big middle muscles in the middle of their back, their traps, their rhomboids. This exercise is king. One important thing that you want to focus on when you're doing a conventional deadlift a lot of people don't think about is you want to make sure you're rotating your elbows inwards towards your body. In other words, opposite of flaring them out, you want to squeeze them underneath your body. One way to think about it is when you're doing a conventional deadlift, do you want to pretend like there's a towel underneath your armpits and you're like pinching that towel in? This is going to activate your lats and activate and tighten the whole backside of your body in order for you to get the powerful muscles in the back of your body, your glutes, and again, the middle and upper and lower part of your back all cranking in order to pick up the heavy weight. Uh, this is an exercise for me. I don't like using the alternate grip personally because you'll see some people doing that. For me, it exposes the bicep and creates an imbalance in the grip, uh, and I want to always develop my grip equally. When it gets too heavy, you can see in a couple of these clips, what I tend to do is I put on some straps. So these are cheap. You can usually find a bunch of different pairs on Amazon. They're like 15 bucks. The ones I'm using are hard straps they're a little bit different uh, and they're about 30 bucks but they're super high quality they're awesome again found them on Amazon just type in harbinger deadlift wraps The next lift, we're doing a chest supported row. It's a lot of the times you'll see the rowing machines, you're sitting straight up and down. This is just a unique uh, machine that my gym carries, but any chest supported row will do. Again, what we're focusing on here is the full range of motion. Once your chest is set up, you can notice I'm reaching all the way down in order to get the stretch or the eccentric motion on the lift here. And then I'm getting a really tight squeeze at the top of the lift. What this allows my body to do is fully contract and then fully stretch out. So this is activating a lot of the muscle fibers and keeping tons of tension on my back, which is gonna help us stoke a lot of muscle growth. Last one, we're doing bicep curls, dumbbell bicep curls. One thing you wanna focus on here that I see a lot of people doing is number one, do not swing them and like swing them up. If you're swinging them up, it's just too heavy weight. You're not really growing your biceps or challenging them. You wanna keep your elbow in front of you. Don't let your elbow go behind you and don't swing the weight. And when you do this, again, you're creating a lot of tension on the bicep. This is what is going to allow that muscle to really work. Yeah. 
So that was phase one of my muscle building back workout and program. The next thing that you want to do is make sure that you watch the video I made on calculating to make sure you eat enough protein and also how to calculate your calorie intake to make sure you're eating enough calories in order to build muscle. Don't forget to like the video, share it with anyone, subscribe to the channel for videos like this and also some more educational content and also feel free to leave any comments. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. I always appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.